So day six of Can't Get Online Week in Moorsholme in North Yorkshire. Well, um, if you say Moorsholme, then you'll sound like a local. Oh. Mawson. <laughs> Get it right. Okay, so we're in Mawson, and Graham Old has been telling me about the perils of trying to run a business in a, an area where you can't get online most of the time. I live on a remote farm outside the village, and uh, I actually do quite well. I get a nominal one meg service, but that's generally by uh, chasing BT the moment it goes down, writing letters to the chief exec. So I get about 800 to 900. Now with that, I can correspond with my clients, they can send me scripts, I can send them uh, images, I can even send them uh, rough voiceovers, rough things like that. But there's no way I can do my video business with this kind of broadband speed. Now, to give you a couple of examples, I have got uh, one of my DVDs, does need a little bit more promotion than uh, I could give it. And the obvious thing, an American friend of mine said, oh, you want to put it online, you know, and, uh, and everybody will then download it for a micro payment. I said, absolutely no way can I even consider doing that. What I might be able to do is to put it, uh, little bits of it, on YouTube and try to attract people in that way. But, you know, I can't even consider that because to upload a two and a half minute piece of my broadband takes me about 15 to 20 minutes. And during that time, I'm obviously not keen on using the computer for anything else. Now, having uploaded something, I then want to download it to check that it's all right. So it can take me 30 minutes to put a two and a half minute piece online. I'll give you another example. Uh, I was recently doing a DVD that had the potential to use a lot of material from the Pathé archive. And Pathé, like uh, BT, uh, BBC's iPlayer, they don't allow you to download. You can only watch it in real time. I could go there, I could find this stuff, I could see enough of it to say, that looks good. But I couldn't watch more than three or four seconds of it without it buffered. I went to a hotel one time where I had a half-fast broadband and could watch them. But there was no point in me watching it in a hotel or in the library or somewhere where I could get a fast thing because I needed it at my desk where I got the rest of the stuff. So in fact the DVD went ahead knowing that this stuff was out there mm -hmm. but there was no way that I could manage to access it and use it within my business. Now what I object to is the fact that I pay as much to BT Broadband as a lot of other businesses do and I get a grossly inferior uh, service. I couldn't run my freelance business in that way and you know something has got to change. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.